Hey there loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Lerata, back with yet another video. So if you're still not part of the gang, don't forget to click the subscribe button, Duana. click on the notification bell so every time I post a video like this one, you get to be notified first. So in today's video, it's going to be a story time. I've seen it, yes, it's going to be a story time. So this story time is going to be about a Tinder date went wrong. How my Tinder date went wrong. My experience with Tinder and all of those things. So without any waste of time, while well, I let you click that subscribe button, we'll go. Okay, this story time ne, dates back in 2018. Shortly after I gave birth to, no, a few a few months later after I gave birth to my son, I was like ready to like go out there to go do my clansies there by the rivers of tinder so i decided okay fine then i'm gonna join tinder okay fine i joined tinder and i used the most bomb pictures of myself like if you could look at this picture and me right now you definitely pick the girl in this picture <laughs> so i used the most bombest pictures of myself on tinder because you know tinder allows you to pick like 10 it, it allows you to uh insert 10 pictures of yourself and maybe a video on whatnot okay fine then i joined tinder i write a bio uh a modern mom i put it out there because guys i'm a mom so if you are gonna write swipe you should be aware that i have a son i have a kid okay fine then join tinder how i joined it at around 12 midnight i think and it was around there by september yeah, it was around September when I joined Tinder. Okay, fine, then I joined Tinder, put on my pictures, then I'm like, okay, fine, then let me just sleep. I'll see if I wake up to, like, a lot of right swipes. Okay, fine, then I wake up in the morning, check my phone, and I get, like, 15 right swipes. And the person right swipes you back, it's a match. Okay, fine, then. So I get, like, a message from this other guy. Hi, beautiful. And I'm like okay did you just call me beautiful <laughs> i like this one already it's like hi beautiful how are you and we start having a conversation so where are you from like no babes i'm from so way to way where now where are you from it's like no i'm from santa it's ish club sun it's sun distance but hey doesn't matter across the bridge when we get there okay fine guys like from he's from santa he's working at this other firm what what they you know he puts out a lot of things about himself i'm like <laughs> Catching. So I'm like, hmm, money. Okay, fine then. We start having a conversation. We're like, okay, fine then. Why not we move the conversation on WhatsApp? Because on Tinder, I feel like you're the one. I've met you. You're my one. You're my one. But good luck. Okay, fine then. I give him my WhatsApp numbers and he texts me immediately. It's like, okay, Lerato, when should we meet up? I was thinking today and I'm like, Fasty so like are you really serious like today like right now it's like yeah I'm free plus um I'm experiencing load shedding and it's what for killing you and I mean like okay no problem okay it was like what do you want us to do like ah oh, no it's okay we can go grab something to eat yeah well okay fine Mugai calls me a few minutes later saying that okay something came up we can't really meet up as initially planned I'm like ah 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 lona i got so by this hello fine then okay fine then <laughs> fast forward i go back to tinder and i took this other to uh, this other guy he was an artist not like artist artist singing no he was a graphic what what artist you know okay fine then i talked to him so now i'm talking to five guys all at once and all of them they take the like the correct boxes like okay he's working ching his money ching he has a car ching like una that a girl needs i mean i can't say babe i broke my leg and we're like yo baby give me the takes and now we bar no we can't do that no no honey no okay fine then i talked to this other guy like okay are you free on saturday so we can meet up for ice cream and whatnot okay fast forward it's now saturday i meet up with this guy he was tall he was dark he was handsome and he was wearing the most tightest pants on earth he was wearing the most tightest pants he was so sexy like everything about him his voice 
his stature his haircut his style was just so amazing okay fine me and him have a conversation and as i've said i air it out because okay fine then i am a mom and but unfortunately me and my baby daddy were not together then we're not together okay fine then guys like no i don't have a problem okay we hang out you know, like and it starts raining okay it rains and then we go grab ice cream like we chill we hold hands and i'm like yo here i am sold like here in this sold i've been auctioned this guy has my heart this one this one nah, this one is the one it's like okay, okay let me drop you off at home i'm gonna see you sometime when i get time because nah? the nice thing about him we stay in the same area like it's not we're not far apart from each other it's like maybe 20 not 15 minutes not even 15 maybe seven yeah, Mara, we're not far apart. So, okay, I'm gonna see you when I get time because I have a lot of gigs, you know. I have to start with this whole cartoon show that I'm drawing for and whatnot. I'm like, okay, no problem. But, yeah, I'll call you every day. And I'm like, yo, Fatima, it's gonna call me every day. Hey, okay, fine then. Um, he drops me off at home, and immediately when I just put my phone on the charger, he calls i'm like okay did you get home safe i'm like yeah i did get home safe i mean you left me by the gate what could have possibly happened <laughs> oh my god you're so sweet okay fine then i'll um, continue talking for quite some time and uh, okay sparks fly it's a casa now we're in casa i'm in casa no give it casa casa fella okay <laughs> so okay fine then um there's this one time i decided to call him and he's like okay i really need to tell you something and I'm like okay What's going on? It's like I really like you. Like you're a cool girl. You're beautiful. And what I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and it's like, okay, fine. Then the only problem that I have is that you have a kid. I'm like, okay, you have every right to feel like that. I mean, if you've set out a preference for yourself, saying that you're not gonna date a girl with a kid, it's cool. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, obviously, now me, I want to date someone who's gonna be able to understand when I'm saying, okay, my son is sick. I can't go out with you today. I can't sleep over because of A, B, and C. I need someone who's gonna actually understand that. Okay, fine then. Um, that was the parting of the whole situation ship that I had then with him. Okay, back to the guy from Constantine. Okay, since that one, Shablega Boutique, I was like, okay, let me start entertaining those one from Santin. Okay, I came. Me and my boy talk. Like we talk, we talk. It's like okay, fine then. Today I'm literally coming to fit you and we go out for for, for lunch. Okay, fine then. I get ready, I get dressed, like we name Shesan and this guy. Back then I wasn't on big on makeup. I was more like a naturalistic. Is it a word? Naturalistic. Okay. I was like more of a naturalistic thing. Okay, fine then. He picks me up and his car. His car was just oh, beautiful. I like I love a car. Any car which is red. Like I feel like car a red car is like beautiful despite of its shape and whatnot but if a car is red guys if a car is red it's automatically beautiful in my eyes okay fine he steps out opens the door for me and i go in it's like yo like you really look beautiful in person baby <laughs> thank you boo <laughs> God, really? it's like yeah you look so beautiful like your everything about you like your voice oh my gosh yeah when this in general I'm like okay fine then it's like okay i was planning we go out to eat you know so he says like okay which one which mall is the nearest lana that has like great food i'm like uh the only mall that i know that has great food is the other mall i won't say the mall the name of the mall so we go out there we grab something to eat yo up until i had a conversation with that guy everything went south like everything literally went that way like yo that guy was beautiful but Things that came out of his mouth, nah, they weren't good. Mm -mm, they were nice. Okay, fine then. As we walked to the mall, um, towards the entrance of the restaurant, he sees this girl passing by, like a girl, Omega, oh you know. And it's like, oh, I'm big. It's like, Yo, this girl, Omega, oh I'm born I'm like, is this really happening? Are you literally asking me that? And I'm like, yeah, it may not say, yeah. And that's when I start seeing which, mm -mm, there's something, there's everything wrong with this guy. As much as he's cute, he's well off, he's a nice car, he's a nice persona. 
but mm -mm, things that come out of his mouth mm -mm, they're not nice okay fine we sit down it's like what are you gonna eat he's like no i'm craving for um like african food like like and of those things. So fortunately we have a restaurant here so it's called Itaven that sells um African cuisine, like South African cuisine. Okay, he's like okay omna ibawele i mmusho umusho and nyama ye yen toko. I'm like nyama toko really? It's like yeah, I didn't know either way, it's yes and don't sell and don't sell um what is um hold yeah fine i came the guy was closer mind you i get fine then he orders food he's like aren't you eating anything i'm like no i'm not really hungry i was hungry but i was turned off by the personality i mean i was really turned off so i order myself a glass of juice and he eats and he starts talking about making comments about having a kid at a very young age when you're not well off like how can you be being a kid into the world when you don't have money like all those type of comments and i'm like this guy really like really like he starts bragging about which school he went to how much he earns his car and i'm like although that does play a part in a relationship like being financially well off but it doesn't mean that you have to brag and make me feel small because it genuinely made me feel small because i mean i just recently gave birth i'm not working i wasn't working at the time and i don't have money it's like i'm on the date with him for money okay yes i was expecting him to pitch at me but i not now maybe when in the relationship in the months in the three months in the five months they then you can say baby here's an in wallet if you're well off you can go well it's me right now but we're not trying to depict that portrait of myself you know okay he eats and he's like okay are you done can we leave and i'm like okay Briga, where are we going are you dropping me off home or what he's like no we're going to my place and i'm like nah boo i can't i left my son and i told my mom i'm coming back in like an hour's time so please drop me off home <laughs> Okay, fine then. <laughs> My boy was like, okay, fine. I'm going to drop you off home, but I will pick you up sometime this week. We met on a Monday. And he's like, I'm going to pick you up on Thursday. Like, okay, no, no, no problem. I'll see you then. Okay, fine. Um, He drops me off at home. We still conversate as normal on WhatsApp. And come Thursday, he picks me up. He's like, okay, fine then. I'm going to take you to my place. I'm like, okay, no problem we can go to our place let's see and it stays in a you know how race is like i've never stayed in a race but my sister used to stay there but that one is not really a race like it's a house with rooms inside and you know in that one house it's five people like there's not much privacy like you can literally hear people talk with you but i'm like you and i started getting scared I, okay fine then uh we chill in his room and you know he starts touching me kissing me and whatnot and i'm like nigga wait let's not even go there you know i'm not ready for that he's like okay i'm gonna respect that and i'm gonna lay low for now like i'm just gonna not do anything i'm not gonna touch you i'm not gonna do anything we hang out we watch a movie and then he's like okay so let me just take you back like sent him to so wait so wait to send him you know it's like my pocket it's at this key um, hops in the car we drive home hey i was so pissed to the point that i did not want to sit in front because of the comments he continue continued to make about having a kid at a young age at a young age and whatnot so i sit at the back and i'm like yes me I'm so annoyed. I'm so bored. I plug in my earphones. I put on my earphones. I'm like, okay, fine. Let me listen to music to calm me down. As I was listening to music, <laughs> I don't know what, which road it is, but Ivaya four ways, like when you're going from four ways to Santin, he used that road. So there was that sharp curve. Is he about to jiga? Mo boy. Wow. We are shy. And I'm like, okay, what just happened? And I take out my earphones and I'm like, dude, what just happened? I'm like, I bumped my car. Oh, 
I have, I have never seen a guy cry like that my whole entire life. No guy cried for his car. Like, he gushed out. It's like, this guy's not even six months. I haven't even taken it to show my mom and why not. And, and I'm like, yo. Now I feel like it's my fault because he came to fetch me, goes away to, you know, so I can spend time with him. And he's now taking me, he's now dropping me off at home. Partially it's my fault. Like, what am I gonna do? And it says we're about insurance. Insurance is gonna pay, but he doesn't have money for excess and whatnot. He states all those things. And the car was really genuinely damaged because the dri the driver's door couldn't open. Like it couldn't open at all. Like he was literally so he literally had to jump off the other seat, like me, and come out and check out his car. Yo 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 yo. Ne khole matata guys. Like he started crying. I was like, okay, let's just continue driving. I'm gonna drop you off at a taxi rank because I really need to sort out um this car issue. And side note, girl, if you are gonna go on a date, carry cash. Even if a guy picks you up in party fifty ranyana, party twenty ranyana, it's not stuck, it's stuck on something young, you know. Because I'm gonna drop you off at the taxi rank and I'm like, oh, thank God I carried my wallet. Thank you, Jesus. For always having my back. Okay, fine then. He drops me off at taxi rank. As we were driving to taxi rank, the car like made, made very funny noises. Like, you know that? I think you no, can you hear that? Can you hear that, bro? Can you, can you, I can't hear that, but what can I do? I'm so sorry this happened to you, but I'm very, very sorry, but there is nothing I can't do. Okay, he drops me off at the taxi rank and it's like, okay, fine then. I'm gonna give you cash. Please call me as soon as you get home and uh, and 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 please get home safe. And I'm like, okay, okay, no problem. And I'll call you when I get home. Please sort out your car issue. And I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, fine then. He's like, okay, it's so not a problem. I'm gonna call you when I get this whole thing sorted. Okay, fine. I get home and um, when I try to text him, I know. Oh boy is not blue ticking me and I'm like, okay, what's going on? What did I do wrong? I mean, I wasn't the one driving. I mean, it can't be necessarily my fault. So, I wasn't wrong. Like, I'm sorry it happened when I was in your car, but it wasn't my fault. Okay, fine then. Me and him cut communication and during February, I was like, yeah. It was February last year. He hit me up on the WhatsApp. He's like, yo, I finally sorted out my car issue. I'm like, yeah, I'm glad. He's like, yo, but unfortunately, I feel like going to Bazen and I'm a party. So, <laughs> so I feel like we shouldn't hang out anymore because the, dis the distance to so it's sent in, it almost cost me my car and whatnot and whatnot. So I think it's great if I just part ways and whatnot. Because, like, okay, fine, then, no problem. So that was the last time I was on Tinder because your Aisham Tinder never worked out for me. Like, it works out for some people, but for me, it genuinely did not work out. Okay, there was that one guy. He should have done me. Yeah. I think I was handsome. Ah, I think I was handsome. So, okay, fine then. That is the end. That's the end of my story time. So, if you have been on Tinder or you have met your partner on Tinder, do leave a comment below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and to turn on the notification bell. So, every time I post something, you'll be the first to find out. It's your girl, Lerato, signing out. Bye.